El Centro Regional Medical Center is in a financial crisis. This week, its board approved a plan to have UC San Diego Health take over day-to-day -day operations for at least the next year. If Imperial Valley lost their hospital systems, it would be devastating to the to that region. UC San Diego Health CEO Patty Mason says her team has partnered with the Imperial County Hospital since 2015. They've been helping with critical care and running the emergency department. She says they felt a responsibility to do more and make sure the region's largest hospital doesn't shut its doors. That was our concern is that if if we couldn't create some breathing room to get to something uh, that makes sense long term, um, that, that, that the hospital would be at risk at closing. El Centro Regional is one of just two hospitals in the county. Its chief medical officer says there have been financial issues brewing. This is one of the poorest counties in the nation. And reimbursement, I mean, it's mostly Medi-Cal and Medicare, Medi-Medi. So essentially, the hospital, every time we admit a patient, we're actually losing money at El Centro Regional Medical Center. With UCSD Health stepping in, El Centro Regional can continue borrowing money with the long-term goal of financial stability. One idea is combining the hospital with the county's other medical center, Pioneers Memorial Hospital. If you're going to have a plan for the Imperial Valley, it needs to have both hospitals involved and doing shared services and each hospital concentrating on what it can do best instead of duplication. Combining health systems could mean the creation of a new countywide health care district, which would use taxes to help cover expenses. El Centro's mayor says there's a study underway to see exactly how that could work, and it would require voter approval. Imperial County can't afford to lose either of their hospitals. We're in a very rural area, so when we talk about the closest hospital would be in Yuma, Arizona, which is 60 miles away, in the Palm Springs, Coachella area, which is another, you know, 70 miles away. And then also taking a look at the San Diego area, that's 110 miles away. El Centro Regional Medical Center closed its labor and delivery department earlier this year. Under the plan, UCSD Health would run the hospital until a long-term solution is put in place, something that could take up to 18 months. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.